Good boy. Good boy. Dude, this can't be real. Good boy. Dude, this Good boy. This cannot be real. Hello, my friends, and welcome to another exciting adventure in the God's Limitless Outdoors. This week, we are going to be following Adam Talmadge around, and he is one of the best mule deer shed hunters I have ever known. And I think it all stems from just his passion and his understanding of the areas where these mule deer love to live. But in this episode, you're going to watch him pick up some incredible mule deer sheds, including a set that goes over 200 inches in some nasty, thick country. We hope that you enjoy this as much as they enjoyed putting it together. Got up to tons of mule deer sign. Just side hill along, following all the fresh sign. There's a fresh skiff of snow on everything from the last uh, week. And uh, I just looked out and I see tines sticking out of the snow. So here, let's check it out. Nice. Boom. Get the horn, dude. Let's pull this thing out. Nice. Nice four point. Gage just spotted one. Oh yeah, it's big. Really big. Get a picture of that giant. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, you take a picture and track him. Ready? Duke, he just missed it. Pull it up. Holy! Dude, look at that. Look how palmated that is. What is that? Dang it, that's right where I was headed. Nice. All right. First one of the year. <laughs> Good deal. Man, that was tines down too. Yeah. Duke, you walked right by that thing. ding dong. Look at the back of it. That's so palmated. See, that's cool. That is a sweet looking bug. That's, that's a like code. Cool Alright, where's the other one? Yeah, we need to find I ended that. up finding the match about a week later, 500 yards from where we picked up the first one. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording when I picked it up. Just looked up on little bench here and goose the pup was sitting there chewing on something and I got up here and fresh four point pretty decent buck just young buck chewed up by the squirrels already pretty bad just found another one Let's see if the dogs find it laying right in this trail get that horn Duke Good boy. Goose. Goose here. Little fork and horn Duke just brought to me. Good boy, Duke. Good boy. Good boy, Duke. Just found all of them. We missed just a few years ago. Oh, Gage just found another one. Oh, nice. Find the horn, Duke. It's another, another four point. Kind of Pick it up, dude. Get that horn. Dude, they're chewing the crap out of these things already. <laughs> oh, no, that's a different bug. Yeah. It's a little thinner. Nice. Duke just found a mule there, Shad. Good boy. Bring it here. Good boy. Looks like uh, last year. Found another one. Good boy, Duke. Here. Good boy. Good 
Here, Duke. Here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. It's a different buck. Chewed. Oh my gosh. Chewed horribly. I got different buttons. Good boy, Duke. Got up high to all the deer sign, been hiking around for a couple hours now, not finding anything. I looked up the hill and saw a hanger. First shed of the day, good brownie. Duke ran up there and knocked it out of the bush, but let's see if we can find it here. Right there. Looks pretty big. Looks like a big fork. Let's go pick it up. Oh yeah. Looks like a mature buck, but he's just a fork. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Man, fat fork horn. Pretty good size base. Let's see if we can't match him up. In Psalm 27, 4, David says, One thing I have desired of the Lord, and that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. And <clears throat> when David's saying this, there's like this one pursuit in his entire life, and that is that he would be in God's house and ultimately in God's presence where he could behold his beauty, where he could stand face to face with God and see him. And it's interesting when we're seeking things in this world, we're seeking them because we want to find them because we think if we can find them, we can grab onto them and we'll be able to look at them and they'll make us happy. And when I think of shed hunting, that's what I think of. Like the one thing that you desire when you're out there is that you find this just magnum massive set of mule deer sheds or elk sheds or white tail sheds or whatever it is. And you just desire it and you, everything in your life is aligned to pursuing that. And you just go after them and you're trying to go to the places where you think they'll be. But David, who was this mighty warrior, incredible man, king, but never lost a battle. The dude was just amazing. The one thing that he desired was to spend every day in the presence of God because he understood what the psalmist said in Psalm 8410 when he says, better is one day in God's courts than a thousand elsewhere. And so I just wanna, I, I wanna challenge you and encourage you to just kind of think through what are you seeking in life? What are you seeking in life? Because David says in Psalm 1611, in God's presence is fullness of joy. And so we may be seeking all these other things. We may be seeking about maybe it's sheds, maybe it's deer, elk, money, power, position. I don't know what it is, pleasure. And, and we're seeking out all these different things but at the root of it, what we're really all chasing after is we're chasing after that happiness. We're chasing after fulfillment. We're chasing after life abundantly and life eternally. And this is all what God offers if we would come into his presence. Instead of running from God and searching for love in all the wrong places and fulfillment in all the wrong places, we got to run to the one who possesses it all. And mighty and mature men have figured that out over the years. And any man that's walked with the Lord for any length of time will tell you, there is only one thing that I really want. And that is to be in the presence of God. Because everything that you're pursuing, what you're truly pursuing is God. So don't run from him. Don't hide from him. Run to him. And I want to, I want to offer you an opportunity. If you want to learn more about who God is, how Jesus came and he died in your place for your sins. And then he defeated death. The same thing that we have to face. He defeated it and made a way through death for you to live eternally in the presence of God where there is fullness of joy. If you want to know more about that, we have a resource called the first mile. I want to send it to you absolutely free. It'll teach you everything you need to know about who God God is, why you need a relationship with him, how to have a relationship with him, and how to practically walk a life that is fulfilling and significant and moving in a direction of life everlasting, eternal, and abundant. So go over to our website, www.limitlesshunting.com, request a copy, and seek after the Lord. Because if you seek him, you will find him, and if you find him, you'll be in his presence, and in his presence is fullness of joy. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of this shed hunt. Well, I just picked up that big forky. Gage was walking up on the bench here and I decided to come up on it. There's a lot of deer sign, a big trail coming up. And I just looked out 
on the edge of the open here. Big brown, right there. Nice buck. Real nice buck. Young. That's a good solid shed. Young buck, but nice. And, uh, Duke went under a tree in the bushes and was grabbing on something and pulled this out. The last year's six point chewed, chewed a little bit. But decent bowl. Heading up to look for mule deer sheds. Just found a side by side set of white tail. Little guys. Pretty cool. There we go. It's a good start to the day. Just found shed number three today. A little four point whitetail. Nice. Just about to the bottom here. And uh, I don't know, we're like. 10 minutes from the truck, literally at the bottom. And Duke pulls out this monster shed and brings it to me. Monster, biggest Mueller shed I've ever found. Look at the base on that thing. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. We have to match this thing up. It might be laying right there. He found it right there. Check out this buck. We have to match him up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here. Let's just walk let's just walk right up here where he picked it up first. This is a big enough buck he probably shed pretty close. I'm hoping. He picked it up right here somewhere. Find a horn Duke. Dude now I'm like Scared we missed it. The pressure to find the match is so heavy. Duke just found the match. Oh my good lord. Look at this buck. <laughs> look at this thing. Are we dreaming right now? <laughs> Are we dreaming? Dude, look how big. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you yeah. believe what just happened? I cannot even look at that one horn. Look at that thing. That thing is a... <laughs> it's still got blood on it, dude. What is this buck? We what? Kill this buck. <laughs> what is this thing? This is a 200 inch buck. Oh yeah. Dude, I've never seen a horn that big. Feel that thing. Good boy! Good boy! Dude, this can't be real. Good boy! Good boy! This cannot be real.